I was born in May of 1963, nearly six months shy of the day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. But I've never felt like a baby boomer. It's never been part of my psyche, my personality, my generation. I want to suggest to you that it's these generational ebbs and flows that define us collectively. You see, every generation experiences technological change, but we experience it in different ways and at a different time. Between your 10th and 25th birthday, we come of age. You see, at 10 years of age, you start your journey to adulthood. But by 25, we fully embrace our generation. Our children right now that are being born in the next 10 years, between 2020 to 2030, will experience a world where artificial intelligence, robots, and holographic technology is the norm. We ourselves are just seeing it emerge. And that's what I want to talk to you about tonight. When a technology has a tipping point in the culture and that culture is emerging and that generation is emerging with that technology, like the personal computer or the cell phone, it then begins to shape that particular generation. Does that make sense? So when we look at the generation born since 2000, commonly known as the Z generation, I call them the iTech generation. Because when you think about the iTechs that define them, iTunes, iPods, iPads, iPhones, iWatches, all those iTechnologies and the social media that they came of age to. In fact, when you think about the iTech generation, all you have to do is think about them within 3D technology. Just realize, first of all, it's okay to be different. Celebrate those differences. Uh, obviously with experience comes uh, ideas and, and value in that regard, but don't forget that the younger generations have something to offer. And I think that's one of the things about Gen X, they, they just often get lost in this little discussion because that generation largely came up known as a slacker generation mm -hmm. and you know, we were the Goonies growing up, we were the, uh, the exorcist child. I mean, there were all sorts of negative labels upon Gen X, in fact, even the, t the label Gen X. So when we hit the business culture, the business world, uh, we, we were kind of went entrepreneurial. In fact, right. that's what I saw. And then, of course, the realists. Mm -hmm. Those are the youngest ones coming but in as well. Millennials are realists. They, they have emerged with a, a reality television motif to them yeah. where they want it to be absolutely real and they want you to get real with them. So they value authenticity. Well, good morning. All the way from Idaho, United States, in Italy. There are countless studies in both education and business and other types of ways that we influence people that these types of sweeteners, rewards, gimmicks, they fail in the long run to motivate a person from within.